Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at aims and hypotheses, and this is for the research methods component of A2 Psychology. Research questions. Psychologists start off with research questions, and for example, Milgram's research question was, are, are Germans different to Americans in terms of their obedience to authority? Once the research question has been identified, then the next step is to be more specific and identify the research aim. Hypotheses. A hypothesis is the prediction based on a theory or observation. Testing the hypothesis is how psychologists get data to, to support their theories. A hypothesis for a correlation is a prediction about the relationship of two variables. In a research study, the alternate slash experimental hypothesis will suggest that there will be an effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable. For example, children who are shown an aggressive role model will show more aggressive behaviour than children who are shown a non-aggressive role model, and that's from the Bandura study on um, transmission of aggression. Uh, note that in a correlation, this type of hypothesis is known as the alternate hypothesis, as it is never an experiment. You may also see the alternate hypothesis written as H1. The alternate uh, slash experimental hypothesis can also be known as the research hypothesis. An alternate hypothesis can be one-tailed or two-tailed. In a one-tailed hypothesis, a specific effect is predicted. This can also be known as a directional hypothesis. One-tailed hypotheses have only one possible true outcome. For example, students who spend more hours revising for their exams will perform significantly better than those who spend less hours revising. In a two-tailed hypothesis, an effect is predicted but its direction is not specified, and therefore they have two possible outcomes. This can also be known as a non-directional hypothesis. For example, the amount of hours that students spend revising will have an impact on their exam results, but it doesn't actually specify which direction, if it will be better or if it will be worse. Null hypotheses. The null hypothesis tells us that the independent variable will not have the predicted effect on the dependent variable. This may also, also be written as H0. It states that there will be no difference between the conditions. For example, there will be no difference in the number of errors made on the eyes task between normal adults and adults with high functioning autism or Asperger syndrome. Any observed difference will be due to chance factors and that's from Baron Cohen's study on adults with autism. In a correlational study, the null hypothesis will predict no, no relationship between the two variables. For example, there will be no correlation between the amount of re revision a student completes and their grades. Any correlation observed will be due to chance factors. Falsification. Psychologists do not try to prove their hypothesis to be true, and instead they try to see if it can be proved false. This is because if a theory cannot be proved to be false, then we can infer that it, is, that it is true. This is a scientific principle that you need to know, and this is known as falsification. This is why psychologists need the null hypothesis, so that they can prove it is not true, and in turn can accept the alternate hypothesis. Thank you for watching this short video, I hope you made some notes as I went along, and I'll be making some more videos soon, so make sure you check those out. Thank you.